Harrington Bar, Ginger Harrington here with Planting Roots. And today we have a special announcement. Today we are launching a brand new Bible study. And we've got our Bible study editor and author of the study with us today, Muriel Gregory. We're about to say hello to Muriel. <laughs> publishing in partnership with Brookstone Creative Group. And so look forward to a whole new level of professionalization in our publishing, and we are so excited about this. Muriel, I would love for you to unveil. We None, none of us have seen the study. Would you unveil this for us? Yes. <laughs> We are so excited to have her do it now. So Muriel, tell us about the study, and we will just turn it over to you. Okay. Whoever it takes to study will read Nehemiah chapter 1, verse 1, and still whatever the last verse is, because I forgot which one it is. Um, so the, the study is really um, about the concept that there is a leader in each one of us. If you are a Christian, then you become a Christian. And we talked about the voice, and that's exactly what that resonates with. You have a voice. The moment that you accept Christ in you, you have the Spirit of God in you. You have a role to play. You have a leadership role somewhere. So the story of Nehemiah, if you've never read the book of Nehemiah, it's absolutely fantastic. So if you've never done that, you will. Um, it really shows the concept of hearing God's call, which is what Nehemiah did being obedient to the call, and his call was to rebuild the wall. And we'll see how he was able to do that in, in, in record time with the help of uh, quite a few friends, meeting opposition. And the concept is that we all have a place at the wall. Nehemiah didn't rebuild the wall by himself. He called everybody, and everybody went to the wall of Jerusalem, had their piece of the wall, and everybody rebuilt the wall. And it was not just stone masonry, uh, masons and, and, and carpenters that were building walls. It was everybody. People that were making jewelry, the women, children, everybody was there. So it didn't matter whether you felt qualified to be a wall builder, you were there at the wall and you were rebuilding. And that's the concept with us. We have a place at the wall. And at the end of the study, our hope is that people understand that the wall that we're building is the church. Jesus set the first stone. He is the cornerstone. We all have a role to play in rebuilding the church. So a study like that, I wish I could say I am the big author, but it's a team of people that are behind that. So I just want to recognize them. Two of them are in this room, and they are absolutely incredible in that process. One of the things that I really liked about that study that we didn't have in other studies is this part of it called Joint Up Intel. It's taking other people that were contemporary to Nehemiah. So we have Esther. We have, I'm going to say this wrong, because I always joke, he's the first Italian prophet, not that she is Malachi. Um, <laughs> we have Ezra, we have all those other people that were contemporary to Nehemiah. And sometimes we read the Bible and we read the book and we don't realize that story is part of other stories that were going on at the same time. And it really shows God's plan and how it unfolded. It's absolutely beautiful. So I'm super excited. Um, and also, this study is not just going to be available on Amazon, but it's also going to be available in um, bookstores. So you can actually go to your local bookstore and tell them, I want to open that study, which is twofold. It gives people a view into planting roots, because you go to your bookstore and you say, this is a study by planting roots that you can order through your bookstore, and it really um, expands our audience, because you're becoming then aware that we exist. And you can tell other people, hey, there's a, there's a ministry out there that, that, that can, uh, that can support you. So. Thank you. 
publishing imprint. And I'm so proud of this team. Thanks for joining us today, guys.